Hi everybody, I'm Denise from Four Square Micro Farm. Uh, welcome to my craft room. Uh, it's a mess because, well, it's a mess. I'm doing about uh, maybe four or five different projects right now. Uh, I have a little bit of merino on, on the Louette. Uh, I've got a Dresden that needs to be completed on my vintage sewing machine. This is supposed to be a uh, placemat or I mean, a cup holder for my mom. Uh, I've got some socks somewhere and a cow that's going to get some tease water locks around it. And right now I'm working on my loom. Uh, on the loom right now is hand spun alpaca in a natural gray, a natural black, and a uh, gray that was over dyed with a little bit of the fire red that I used to dye the locks for the tease water. Uh, this loom right here is a Harrisville um, four shaft 22 inch loom uh, with a 22 inch reed right now inside of it. I've got all the shafts in use as a straight draw, and I'm just doing straight uh, traveling a straight draw twill on this one right here. I got my three different bobbins, uh, shuttles loaded with three different bobbin colors, and I'm going ten black, five gray, and then five the over dyed gray. For, or sorry, three to over dye gray for that one right there. And you can see how I've got the straight draw twill pattern in the one direction. Uh, there's about four yards on the loom right now. And this is supposed to be for the peppermint cape. I did the peppermint cape once in a, uh, a gray fabric. I've been hoarding that fabric for like the last ten years. And finally decided what I was going to do with it. So I got the peppermint cape in that. And I, it was pretty much the mock-up for the hand spun. So let me just put down the camera for a moment so I can pick up the peppermint cape. Okay, so this is the peppermint cape. Um, I've been sewing a lot longer than anything else. I started sewing when I was 8 or 9 years old. And so... Uh, it only makes sense that as I begin to learn how to spin, that I would eventually want to make my own garments. And I've done some knitting, and I do enjoy knitting. Uh, but uh, knitting is a little stressful in the hands, too. And it's a lot faster to weave. So I decided that I wanted to concentrate the bulk of my spinning into weaving. And it takes a lot of yarn to weave. Uh, this particular project, I spun... 1,682, I think the count was, roughly, uh, yards of fiber for this particular project. And at some point I'll tell it exactly how much I used, but roughly the warp was 800 yards uh, just to warp the loom. And so the, the whole goal is to uh, make this fabric, and I'm going to cut the fabric and do something that's very close to uh, a modified version of the peppermint Cape. So this is what it looks like right now. A lot of people always ask, well, how long does it take uh, to do a project? It, it took just an hour or so to cut and stitch this from the cloth. It took me three days to warp the loom. And that's not even counting the weaving. It is a lot um, harder to warp the loom than it is to do the weaving. Or I should say it takes a lot longer to warp a loom than it does to do the weaving. But once you've got it all warped and everything, the weaving goes really fast. Okay, so this is the first segment. Uh, the next time I record will be when I take the warp, will take the fabric completely off of the loom. And then I will uh, get a, pictures of those and then wash the fabric to, f to finish it and then I'll be ready to cut.